But there was lots of sex, oh, lots of I... fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it, was, it, was a, it was a nightmare. I don't wish that journey on so many people. And so many people were always messaging me, which I wasn't ready for, and like relating to it, which, you know, I, I'm not in the pregnancy world, mm -hmm. so becoming, and we put it on the TV show, which right. so a lot of people were like, you know, messaging me ideas and positions and things to do for, get your sperm, you know, I was just like, oh my God. And then you start thinking like, well, maybe I'm too old. And then it's like, that's a whole, whole nother path that is mm -hmm. no fun to walk down. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it was awesome. It's, I keep saying that the baby name needs to be something very, um, I don't know, connected to our journey. So <laughs> There were many times when I just, I thought this wasn't gonna happen. I, I really did and I really prayed about it a lot and I really thought about it a lot and I had come to the point where I thought this isn't gonna happen for us. So that was kind of at the end and then you get to a place where you don't wanna lose hope and lose your dream and at the same time kind of let go and live life and I didn't want to have it affect being a mom to another son you know and so I thought well I have Gunner and I'm just gonna enjoy every moment with him and this is the youngest he's gonna ever be and I don't want to be missing that wanting another kid like longing something else so I just thought I'm just gonna really focus on him too and um, you know, I, I thought I'm going to give it one last like hurrah kind of is what I thought and I found a different lubricant to use and I did a little more research and we had just had all our blood done and we got on different diets and so um, once, I started eating lots of testicles. Yeah, I was eating, um, you know, bison hearts. <laughs> and raw meat and lots of liver and I got an animal based diet Wow! and I had all my blood work done and I donated a bunch of blood because I ate, ate too much iron. You ate testicles as well. I ate testicles. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Hers, well, so okay. hers were raw, mine were, mine were frozen. <laughs> I think first I tried the wine diet. I was kind of like, oh, because he you hear from everyone, when you don't try and you're just drinking, you get pregnant. I was like, great, love that. That's what happened with Gunner, easy. And then I was like, this is not working. So then I tried not drinking for a few months. That didn't work. Um, and then towards the end there, we had all of our blood checked and all of our levels and our, you know, I had zero testosterone because I had too much iron and there were all these different deficiencies and over things for both of us. So we got on a program and started different supplements and then we really tightened up our diets and basically um, an animal based, a meat based diet. And I stopped eating mostly gluten and a lot of vegetables, so I was just really eating <laughs> mostly meat. So I went on a carnivore, a carnivore-based diet, and in the carnivore-based diet, you basically eliminate vegetables, a lot of fruit, all grains, and you're eating meat, and that does include raw liver, um, raw bison heart, raw meat. So they say that you get a lot of the nutrients from there. Grass fed, grass finished. Okay. It doesn't right. like just right. it's grab not random. It. It's like from it's expensive. From the farms and the ranches that you are in contact with and not okay. like just winging it at the market. I, I wouldn't advise doing that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I just try to eliminate as many toxins as there could possibly be in my body and maybe um, whatever it could be reacting to. So I felt really great on that diet. Really? And okay. yeah, my body was thriving and I was working out better and I had more energy. And so I really love that diet and I think I'll go back to that after uh, nursing and obviously help me with fertility as well. So when you think about it, people eat raw sushi all the time. And if you had seen just raw sushi, you probably wouldn't Think that's very enticing, right? They make it look real yeah. nice at the sushi spot. So raw meat um, is similar. I love tartar, steak tartar, you know. But I would realistically eat raw meat um, once every two or three weeks, not not super often. Okay. But I and would. You were taking the. But I was taking the, liver uh, supplements pills, yeah. Yeah. every day. Okay. I do contribute a lot of the raw meat diet and the supplements that I was on and the lubricant and God's timing to getting pregnant. So I think it was And just prayers. You were praying all day, every day. Right. So, yeah. Was, Lots of prayers. I'd say that brought a lot to it as well.
God was like, yo, <laughs> you gotta chill out, leave me alone for a day. <laughs> oh yeah, we're eating a lot healthier than we were, and I'm, you know, not drinking anymore because my, my party animals on vacation. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of life changes. There are definitely different challenges and some nerves that are coming up with having a second child. It's going to be a big adjustment for all of us. I mean, we're moving Gunner out of his room into a different room, and that's going to be a big adjustment. There's going to be a baby waking up throughout the night, hoping it doesn't wake Gunner up. And this time, it's just like the pregnancy. I don't get a rest and sleep when the baby does. That's a whole different thing. I have a toddler to wake up with, take care of, and I'm going to have the baby. So it's going to be a big juggling act and I think a, a big adjustment for all of us. Also, we're one-on-one -on -one now, so it's easy to be like, what are you doing? Okay, you take Gunner and I can go do this. Mm -hmm. So everything is about to change for us. Right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm, I mean, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> I am uh, working out more to get in shape because now I realize I'm gonna have, you know, because I know once we have a baby, Gunner's gonna be like, carry me too. So I'm be like, carrying a toddler and the baby. So I'm like, I gotta get in shape, no more pot pies. So. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, it's, it's slow burn, slow <laughs> burn, you know. It, it, really, I'm, my Mexican food is just, it's been hard to quit nachos and skinny margaritas. But other than that, it's doable. So this pregnancy, I am 20 pounds heavier than I was my first pregnancy. So we before just- Before you were pregnant. Before I was pregnant. Yeah. So last pregnancy, yeah, I weighed like 110 or something. And this one I weighed like 123. So that was different to um, adjust to just with the pandemic and my body type and working out and you know, I'm older. Um, so I'm trying to just eat as healthy as I can and not be stressed out about it. And I've gained about five pounds. So my doctor said that's great in three months. She's like, you're right where you're supposed to be.